Ibir Adid Farah never imagined this day would come when she could fetch water just a few meters from her home in Dinta village, 30 kilometers from Somaliland's capital, Hargeisa. Until recently, she had to walk two kilometers for water and could only carry a 20 liter jerry can on her back, which wasn't enough for her family of six. Now, with a water point installed close to her home, she can go several times to bring enough water for all her domestic needs. First, water is life. Without water, nothing is possible. We faced many problems before, but now we have plenty of water close to us. We use the water for drinking, to cook food, to wash clothes and utensils. Now everything in the house is clean. The water point, installed by UNICEF, which uses 20 solar panels to pump water to a storage tank, has transformed the lives of the 200 households here. Not only do parents and children have more time for other activities, but the clean water has led to a reduction in waterborne illnesses, such as diarrhoea. Nur Abdi, the village leader, says the community members, who pay a small amount for the water, play a key role in its management. This water is very important for this village. Before the water system was installed, there were only few people, but now the community is growing. The health situation has improved because of clean drinking water, and diseases, particularly diarrhea in children, have reduced. However, in Somaliland as a whole, only 42% of households have access to clean drinking water. This dusty town in Towale, in southwest Somaliland, isn't so lucky. The community here relies on this dirty, muddy pool of water used by animals and people for drinking and all other uses. Now, through UNICEF, the European Union is funding the improvement of water service delivery here and in three other towns through the strengthening of sustainable management of water services. During World Water Day celebrations this year, the Director General for the Ministry of Water Resources encouraged the residents to find ways of harvesting rainwater to help combat the water problem. Uh, the EU project in Wachale is, it is the only hope that the Wachale community has. So, and this project has already is ongoing and is moving uh, very pleased and very forward. And the, if and there is no uh, underground water resources and premises in Togo Chale. One of the Millennium Development Goals is to half the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. Projects such as these are aimed at ensuring Somali communities have access to safe water close to their homes. This is Susanna Price reporting for UNICEF Somalia. For more information, go to www.unicef.org. Unite for Children.